Welcome everyone to Count the Hegemony. My name is Aaron Taus. In November 2022, the US corporation OpenAI released ChatGPT, an artificial intelligence language model. The chatbot has been trained on a massive amount of data to generate human-like responses to text-based questions. OpenAI promises that ChatGPT and other AI-based tools will expand our knowledge and enhance our creativity. They would help reduce boring work and repetitive tasks, and humans would just supervise them doing it. The internet media company BuzzFeed has already announced its commitment to using JetGPT for content creation. Many observers believe that the chatbot will not only turn the world of reporting upside down, JetGPT will also have a profound impact on labor relations, employment, geopolitics and the very sense we perceive reality itself. So is chat GPT just another technological tool making some tasks easier? Or are many workers at risk of losing their jobs in the near future? And what does chat GPT have to do with the dynamics of capitalism? Let's take a closer look and find out. The history of capitalism is marked by constant technological development. Under conditions of competition, companies introduce new technologies such as ChatGPT to increase productivity, reduce costs and maximize profits. Behind ChatGPT are immense financial resources. Microsoft's Bill Gates and PayPal founder Peter Thiel are major investors. Elon Musk is serving as an initial board member. Apple, Google, Meta and Amazon have also jumped on the AI bandwagon, launching their own products and services. Under capitalism, ChatGPT is not primarily a tool for liberation, in the sense that it liberates us from tedious work and allows us to pursue more pleasant activities. It is first and foremost a tool for appropriation, privatization and profit making. What we are currently witnessing is the appropriation of all collective intellectual and artistic knowledge that exists in digital form and its transformation into copyrighted profitable commodities. Yet this is by far not the only concern. In a capitalist market economy, where the majority are wage-dependent workers, replacing human activities with AI-based tools will lead to a mass cognitive de-skilling and make large numbers of workers increasingly superfluous. Teachers, programmers, market researchers, customer service agents, visual artists, financial analysts, journalists, translators, musicians and many other professions are at risk of losing much of their earning potential to AI software in the near future. AI-driven automation will also lead to an enormous intensification of work, along with the loss of autonomy and privacy. Artists and culture workers will be increasingly forced to market themselves as individuals, as human traits and attributes that cannot be automated will become more important. The overall increase of performance demands might in turn lead to more burnouts and other stress-related diseases. Another concern is the potential for ChatGPT and other AI technologies to produce ever greater inequalities by widening the wealth gap between the owners of capital and the working class. And there's also the issue of the so-called averaging effect. ChatGPT generates answers based on averaged and typical word patterns. It shows us parts of the world in a biased, standardized and flattened form. The automation of cognitive processes through ChatGPT comes with the side effect of amplifying dominant views and mainstream ideas. Never before has a technology been so directly intertwined with the existing power structures. And finally, of course, there are also serious warnings that humanity could create an entity that is so far ahead of us cognitively that it could eventually take over the reins of the world. At the moment, the learning process of ChatGPT is limited to the training phase. So it is still clearly a learning machine, not a thinking machine. 
and as things stand, certainly not capable of seeking world domination. Yet future language models may be able to permanently change and override their own parameters. This would bring them closer to the development of artificial consciousness. But the construction of such a model would be much more complex and its behavior more difficult to predict. So the future domination by a superhuman machine is anything but a foregone conclusion. What will certainly increase with the help of AI-powered tools, however, are plagiarism, fraud, hacking, spying, deepfakes and other nefarious possibilities. The window for regulating AI is closing fast. OpenAI has refused to release any technical details about ChatGPT, which would allow for its source codes to be audited by the public. As things stand, AI-based tools such as ChatGPT are largely unregulated. U.S. tech corporations argue that otherwise China would outspace Western powers. But more on that confrontation another time. So that does it for today. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.